Um, no, how is the tour with gatekeeper so far? They're terrible people. We can't stand them. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it's been fun so far. Yeah. They're great guys, and uh, yeah, so far it's been a lot of fun. We're getting along. We're playing great shows. I think we're well matched, and they're nice people. Yeah, That's it's great. been wonderful. No complaints. Really fun band to watch every night. Really fun guys to hang out with. So. Yeah. Um, Noah Sanhedrin is a band which is well known in the underground and we have lots of people watching us uh, knowing more the mainstream bands. So can you tell about the band, your story and stuff like that? Well, we started in 2014? Yeah. 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 And I had known this guy for a long time as uh, we're stage technicians. So mm -hmm. we worked together at, a, at an opera house in Brooklyn. And I used to watch him sound check the drums, and I knew he was a good drummer. So I said to him, what the hell are you doing here? You should be out playing drums. <laughs> and he said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then 10 years later, we started a band together. And me and Jeremy have played in a couple projects over the years, and uh, we, our band broke up, we kind of fell out of touch, we got back in touch, we were jamming, we were playing with organs and all sorts of crazy stuff, and then one day we said, hey, uh, I know this really awesome singer and bass player named Erica, let's try her out, and it, the rest is history. That's it. Here we are, mm -hmm. in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And do you like it? Oh, love it. Love it. Here? It's amazing. In Berlin? Yeah. I yeah, love yeah. Berlin. Yeah. yeah I've been crazy. here a few times in my life. I was actually here on October 3rd, 1990, which was a trip. Okay. <laughs> the day the, the wall fell. Right? Yeah. Well, no, it's not the day the wall fell. It was like Unification Day oh. for Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from then to now, boy, has Berlin changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, can you tell about your CDs? Um, um, a funeral for the world, it sounds quite as if there is a concept behind it, and it sounds a bit, say, dark, depressive. Yeah, I can't help it. That's how I think, that's what I think about a lot of times. Um, I like to write about um, what I see. You know, as an artist, I like to reflect the world around me. So okay. that's, how, that's how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> so is it only you writing the lyrics? Or? Mostly. Nate uh, helps me when I get stuck sometimes. But mostly, yeah. OK. Uh... No, you have four bands. I wrote the four years ago. What and what did you did before? You said you worked at, at an opera house. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been, I've been playing music my whole life, so you know, okay. always in always in bands. But um, I'm an audio technician, mm -hmm. and that's you know what I do for work. And you know, are there yeah. any bands which can be known? Probably not. Oh, actually, in, in Germany, uh, Amber Asylum and, uh, yeah, Amber Asylum, they're on Prophecy, and I played with them for a while in the late 90s. And actually, Chris, the violin player of Amber Asylum, played on The Poisoner, so she's still a really good friend of mine. Yeah. Okay, and what are your idols concerning music? Kiss. <laughs> All three of us love Kiss. Yeah, we love yeah. Kiss. This is a, I could be here for about a half an hour telling you all of my favorite. So we'll just leave it at Kiss. We'll leave it at Kiss, Metallica, Rush. Yeah. Dio. Dio, Ozzy, Sabbath, Priest. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. The classics. The classics. And then a lot of more eclectic stuff. We like a lot of stuff that isn't necessarily heavy metal, like yeah. Funkadelic or. Uh, I've more been psychedelic in, music. Into psychedelic and, and yeah. garage music for a long time too. So, so music of the seventies. Oh yeah. Late sixties. Well, mid late sixties. I love the proto punk, like all the early early punk stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> and I love it. And which is the one and only band? For, for me. Yes. Like I think it's the MC Five. 
Like if I had one band yeah. ever, Metallica, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you stumped him. I don't know. That's a hard one. I don't think I can answer that. It's <laughs> 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 gonna kill myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what are your plans for the future? Um, well, we're gonna get home. We have a couple uh, plans for touring in America. We're uh, doing a run with a band called Slaufeg. And then uh, we are hoping to come back to Europe very soon. So we're, we're hoping mm -hmm. that we're, we're working on trying to get back here one more time uh, before the end of this year, later in the year. And as soon as that is confirmed, uh, we will announce. But right now, it's still in the planning, planning stages. OK. And will you then be headline? Or, or? I think it'll be, from what I understand, it'll be a similar thing where we're headlining with another band, where we're yes. co-headlining. That's what we're talking about, but things things always change. But mm -hmm. we'll see. Okay, so you you can't say which band will be I can't this right now, no. Definitely yeah, not. I'll confirmed. get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> 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 and is there any band you'd love to be on tour with? Oh, of course. Iron Maiden. <laughs> yeah, I think Iron Maiden. <laughs> Iron Maiden. If you're watching this, Bruce, give us a call, okay? So which is your favorite Maiden singer? Oh. Bruce. Bruce. I love Paul, but yeah, Bruce I mean, is... Bruce, nice, Bruce right. held in there. He's stalwart. Yeah. Bruce still sounds great. And, and he flies the plane. And he flies the plane. <laughs> I can't fly a plane. <laughs> and I he's can barely play guitar. Fit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, good for you, Bruce. Yeah. Peace and love. We're glad you're feeling <laughs> 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 yeah. And what about plays? What place would we like to go? No, Blaze, Blaze Bailey. Oh, Blaze? Nah. No, okay. Not so much. Sorry, Blaze. I a just, just saw him two days ago here in Berlin, and oh, it yeah. was a great show. No, yeah, he's, a, he's a great singer. I think he just came into the band at a, a hard time. Replacing Bruce Dickinson is not a job most... No. I, I wouldn't <laughs> take that job. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to talk. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm unaware. Uh-huh. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that happened. Okay. For two wow. records. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> See you soon.